To start off the video, we have some really exciting news. Wynne Shotwell, the President and Chief Operating Officer of SpaceX has been awarded the 2023 National Space Trophy by the Rotary National Award for Space Achievement. Shotwell has been given the award for her remarkable contributions and achievements in the space industry, not just SpaceX. She handles pretty much everything at SpaceX. She is currently also in charge of the Starship program at Starbase Texas since Elon bought Twitter and spent most of his time at Twitter headquarters. Making rockets soar and breaking ceilings, Shotwell is a true space trailblazer. A banquet honoring her will be held on April 28th at the Houston Hyatt Regency in Houston. All six lifting pins on the nose cone section of Starship S-24 have now been removed. Crews covered up the holes with metal plates before the tiles work could begin. S-24 will be a flight-ready Starship once all the remaining heat shield tiles are installed. Preparation work continues on the orbital launch mount for Booster 7's static fire test. To allow additional time to prepare the booster, road closure schedules for tomorrow and Wednesday have been cancelled. I think we may see the static fire next week at the latest. Yesterday, Elon's private jet landed in Brownsville, perhaps for the first time since October last year. He might want to be here at Starbase to observe the preparation of Booster 7's static fire. This is a good sign that the static fire is imminent. Today's launch of the Starlink mission along with deorbit spacecraft has been delayed until tomorrow to allow additional time for pre-launch checkouts. The new liftoff time is tomorrow at 8.15 a.m. Pacific time at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. That is it for now, thank you for watching, see you in the next video with more updates.